Chris Brown is a very popular hip-hop artist. He is multi-talented and one of the biggest talents of his time in urban music. He became popular with his songs, Yeah, Three Times, Look At Me Now, and Beautiful People. Ever since his rise to fame, he has been a part of many controversies and scandals. So today, we are going to take a look at the life of Chris Brown and analyze the gossip regarding his life and career. Early Life and Career Christopher Maurice Brown was born in the small town of Tappahannock, Virginia, on May 5, 1989, to Joyce Hawkins, a former daycare center director, and Clinton Brown, a local correctional officer. Latrell Bundy, his older sister, is a bank employee. Beginning with his childhood music was always a part of Brown's life. He grew up listening to his parents' soul albums and later developed an interest in hip-hop. Brown taught himself to sing and dance at a young age and often cites Michael Jackson as his inspiration. He began to perform in his church choir and several local talent shows. Brown was discovered at the age of 13 by Hit Mission Records, a local production company that came to his father's gas station looking for new talent. Brown received voice coaching from Hit Mission's Lamont Fleming and the team assisted in putting together a demo package under the alias C. Sizzle and approaching contacts in New York to pursue a record deal. Brown attended Essex High School in Virginia until late 2004 when he relocated to New York to pursue a career in music. Tina Davis, a senior A&R executive at Def Jam Recordings, was so impressed with Brown's audition that she immediately took him to visit Antonio L.A. Reed, the former president of the Island Def Jam Music Group, offered to sign him that day, but Brown declined. Brown finally signed with Jive because of the company's previous success with young artists like Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. According to Brown, I picked Jive because they had the best success with younger artists in the pop market. I knew I was going to capture my African American audience, but Jive had a lot of strength in the pop area as well as longevity in careers, he added. Brown noted that during his time in Harlem, when he was trying to have his music acknowledged by major companies, his creative intention was to rap and sing on his albums, but Jive persuaded him to simply sing because it wasn't acceptable yet for an R&B singer to rhyme on records. In 2007, he enhanced his career by appearing in the dance drama film Stomp the Yard and the popular TV series The O.C. and the holiday comedy drama film This Christmas. Family. Brown's mother recognized his vocal talent and they began to look for the opportunity for a record deal. Brown said, I was 11 and watching Usher perform my way and I started trying to mimic it. My mom was like, you can sing? And I was like, well, yeah, mama. Brown's parents were fans of Sam Cooke and Michael Jackson, leading to inspiration for their son. Brown also faced trauma when his parents had divorced and his mother's boyfriend terrified him by subjecting her to domestic violence. In an interview, he discussed his abusive stepfather. He talked about how hard his life was living in a house where his mother was repeatedly assaulted by his stepfather. Brown's family was quite religious. When discussing his upbringing, Brown stated, We were used to two pairs of shoes for a school year. We used to go to church every day. I was one of those kids that had more church clothes than school clothes. Chris is the father of two daughters, Aiko, two, and Royalty Brown, seven. He was his first child with Nia Guzman and his second child with Amika Harris. Relationship Scandals Chris Brown's love life became popular when he began dating Rihanna, providing us with images of the fairy tale romance that we fantasized about. Unfortunately, the same romance played out badly in front of our eyes. However, that was not the only notable relationship the famous singer has been a part of. We will discuss his other relationships and scandals as well. First of all, let's discuss Brown's most famous or infamous relationship with Rihanna. The two started dating back in 2007. They had been friends before that for at least two years. They both were quite young at the time and were up and coming artists. They seemed like the perfect couple. In 2009, however, the two had a violent encounter in which the R&B artist assaulted Rihanna leaving her with visible facial injuries which required hospitalization. Brown surrendered to the Wilshire station of the Los Angeles Police Department and was arrested. Following Brown's arrest, various commercials and TV shows featuring him were cancelled. His music was pulled from radio stations across the country, 
and his public appearances, including one at the 2009 Grammy Awards, were canceled. On July 20, 2009, Brown released a two-minute video on his official YouTube page apologizing to fans and Rihanna for the assault, expressing the incident as his deepest regret, and saying that he has repeatedly apologized to Rihanna and accepts full responsibility. Brown was sentenced to five years of probation on August 25th. He was also sentenced to a year of domestic violence treatment and six months of community service, with a five-year restraining order requiring him to stay away from Rihanna at all times. Brown goes into depth about the violent relationship in his 2017 self-documentary, Welcome to My Life, claiming that he meant to marry Rihanna, but lost her trust after learning that he lied about a sexual experience with a co-worker that occurred prior to their relationship. He also mentioned that during their relationship, they had lighter incidents where they put their hands against each other, and he gave a full account of how the known fight went down. After all this hassle, their love didn't just end here, but more on that later. After Chris's split with Rihanna, Natalie Mejia was rumored to be the rebound after the two were sighted together at a tattoo parlor. Natalie confirmed the reports, but Chris's representatives denied them all, saying that they were merely in the same spot at the same time. Which one of them was speaking the truth is still unknown. Chris Brown seemed to have met a possible girlfriend in the form of Golden Barbie Jasmine Sanders in late 2010. The R&B singer wouldn't say if they were dating, but when they were photographed together again in 2019, he revealed that they were just friends. In 2011, Chris officially started dating Karechi Trent, who was working as a personal shopper at the time. However, this relationship was a roller coaster for both of them. The entire relationship was chaotic and unpleasant. Tran reportedly couldn't comprehend Brown's bond with his ex-girlfriend Rihanna. Brown confirmed the end of this relationship with Tran in October 2012 because he did not want to see her hurt over my friendship with Rihanna. Brown dropped a video called The Real Chris Brown the day following the announcement, which features images of himself, Tran, and Rihanna as Brown wonders is there such a thing as loving two people? I don't know if it's possible, but I feel like that. In 2013, reports came out that Rihanna and Brown were back together. Rihanna confirmed these rumors, stating, It's different now. We don't have those types of arguments anymore. We talk about shit, we value each other, we know exactly what we have now, and we don't want to lose that. Unfortunately, this time it didn't even last a year. Brown said that he and Rihanna had broken up again in May 2013 in an interview. Chris had a one-night stand in 2014 with Nia Guzman, but Chris confirms that he doesn't regret it as Nia gave him the most precious gift on the planet, his daughter, Royalty. After Brown's daughter, Royalty, was born in 2015, he rejoined with Tran, but the two split ways eventually. Several tracks from his album, Royalty and Heartbreak on a Full Moon, were inspired with his breakup by Tran. Tran and Chris even had a public feud on social media during which Chris disclosed some personal information in a post. They fought openly until 2017 when the model eventually said that she would never forgive Chris and that while she loves him, he has caused her too much suffering. Tran obtained a five-year restraining order against Brown in 2017 after testifying under oath that he was physically abusive to her twice throughout their relationship and threatened her after they broke up. Amika, the mother of Brown's second child, was first linked to him in 2015, but the two were cited together again in 2019. Chris was accused of attacking another female the next day and was imprisoned for two days. Amika was by his side and backed him up. They both had a boy, Aiko, in 2020, but eventually they ended their relationship. Controversies Most of Chris Brown's controversies revolve around women, but there are some which do not include women. For instance, in January 2013, Brown got into a fight with Frank Ocean outside a West Hollywood recording studio over a parking spot. Brown was being investigated by Los Angeles police, who described the incident as battery, since Brown repeatedly punched Ocean. Despite the fact that Ocean said Brown threatened to shoot him, he declared he would not seek charges. Brown was arrested following his concert on July 6, 2018, on a felony battery charge coming from an incident that occurred over a year ago. Brown was charged with violence after reportedly punching a man who photographed him without his permission at a Tampa bar in April 2017. Brown was released approximately an hour later, according to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, after posting the $2,000 bond. 
Brown was also prohibited from visiting Australia and New Zealand as of 2021 due to his felony record. Canada and the United Kingdom had previously banned the musician due to his criminal background. However, they revoked their bans in 2019 and 2020 respectively. So this was our video about the life of Chris Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video and you found it interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it helps out our channel. If you want to get notified of our future videos, then consider subscribing to the channel and give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.